Some University of Minnesota students are gaining national recognition for a new way to treat patients with life-threatening allergies. Tyler Ebert and Chris Kewen invented an alternative to the EpiPen. It is called the Adrena Card. The medication is the same, but the design is meant to be smaller, lighter, and fit right in your pocket. As Kate Raditz shows us, the invention could offer a cheaper alternative and less stigma for a life-saving drug. Epinephrine pens, or EpiPens, offer medication for potentially life-threatening allergic reactions. But a recent study showed only around 40% of families with an allergy requiring an EpiPen actually carried them. They have to explain to anyone that they meet why they have this uh, injector on them. University of Minnesota students Tyler and Chris don't have allergies, but came up with the idea for an alternative for the EpiPen after Tyler dealt with several customers with food allergies through his work in campus restaurant management. We make auto injectors that are easy to carry around so people are more likely to have their emergency medication. They came up with the Adrena card. The name stems from the device's shape and the synthetic adrenaline it injects into the body. Place the end of the needle end of the device on the outside of the leg and press down to inject. The Adrena card is about the size of a few stacked credit cards. The end product will be slightly smaller than their test model. The average EpiPen will cost you around $260. While Chris and Tyler haven't come up with the price yet for the Adrena card, they hope to make it more affordable for patients. The invention earned them the title of second place for student-owned businesses just last week by the Entrepreneurs Organization. And while they feel lucky for their early success, they say the real success and will be the chance to save lives. But the chance to be successful in something that potentially could make a difference in someone's life, that's something that's amazing. Kate says currently the FDA is testing the uh, device. Chris and Tyler hope to have it approved next year before it goes to market. Smart kids. Yeah, really. Impressive.